The route page looks almost the same as a flight plan. It shows route segments such as departures, airways, and direct routing. More detailed data is found on other pages. Expanded route data is on the route legs page. The legs page looks almost the same as a paper flight log. Each waypoint along the route is shown. The legs page also shows leg direction, leg length, waypoint speed, and waypoint altitude. On a route data page, you see waypoint ETA and wind. Show the legs page. When you push the legs key, legs page 1 is always shown. Show the root data page. A root data page is available for each related legs page. Push the next page key to show root data page 2. Push the legs prompt to go back to legs page 2. The active waypoint shows in magenta on legs page 1. Above the name of each waypoint is the magnetic heading or the magnetic course to that waypoint. True courses are usually necessary at high latitudes. The letter T shows a true course. Laker is a set waypoint. Its geographic position does not change. The location of some waypoints is not set. Flight conditions that include wind, true airspeed, thrust available, and airplane pitch change their location. These are conditional waypoints. Conditional waypoint names are shown in parentheses. In this example, the 312 degree heading is held until the airplane is at or above 420 feet. If conditions change, the location of the waypoint changes. This conditional waypoint is an altitude constraint. Other constraints could be VOR radials, DMEs, or intercepts. Conditional waypoints can only be put in the flight plan as part of a SID, STAR, or an approach procedure. They cannot be put in manually. Distances are shown in the center column. For the active leg, the FMC shows the calculated distance from the airplane to the active waypoint. For all other legs, the FMC shows the calculated distance between waypoints. The speed at each waypoint is shown. The altitude to cross each waypoint is also shown. Small characters are FMC estimated values. Large characters are constraints. Constraints can be put in by you or by the FMC as part of a procedure. How do you put in speed or altitude constraints? Speed constraints must be followed by a slash. Put in the speed constraint.
Enter this data into the correct line. Execute. There are four types of altitude constraints. At altitude constraints have no letters. At or above altitude constraints are identified by the letter A. At or below altitude constraints are identified by the letter B. Altitude restrictions between two altitudes use an A with the lower altitude and a B with the higher altitude. These restrictions can only come from the FMC database. They cannot be put in manually. Put in the altitude constraint. The slash is optional for altitude constraints. Enter this data into the correct line. Execute. Put in the speed and altitude constraint at Orton. The two constraints can be put in at the same time. Enter this data into the correct line. Execute. To delete altitude and airspeed constraints, push the delete key and select the waypoint constraints to be deleted. Delete the airspeed and altitude constraints at Orton. Execute. 